the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. I just want to make sure if we, if we get anything else out of it, the, the point is the history, if the history, and I'm thinking about talking about the modern day, the, the culture war that's going on and, and how people sit there and say that the, um, the history makes the children feel bad. I just want to, I just want to make sure now I edit this piece of my video. What I want to be able to say is that if history makes children feel bad, so therefore we want to ban books and we want to make sure we don't do any CRT because somebody told us that it teaches people the agenda of how to hate other people or be hated by other people. I'm going to say I, what I got out of this is let's, instead of trying to hide history if you can, you know, with the cell phone and the computers, your children are going to get the history no matter what. Even if you, even the false narrative and the lies that we want to right, train ourselves to be, the children are going to get the history. And the children will feel bad and disgusted about the history. But what we, I think, is an opportunity to start saying is, hey, that behavior, not acceptable to God. That behavior, jeopardize anybody who lived that period, those periods, and died in those periods in jeopardy of their soul. Uh, not making it to heaven, but to hell. Or even the lake of fire. Yeah. But what I like to say, let's look, let's check this out. I think it makes sense. Even for you as an individual, is your history Instead of sitting there feeling condemned about your history, turn it into a praise report of saying, God snatched me from the fire. God sent his son and he is forgiven. But I can't justify bad behavior. You can't justify bad behavior. No way you can. You can sit there and do all you want, but you can't. But you can say, I plead the blood of Jesus. I know that he has forgiven me of my sin. He has cast it as far as the east and the west. And I have repented. I haven't arrived. I still can slip. I still can stumble. But I don't practice bad behavior anymore. I'm moving away from bad behavior. I'm moving away from hate. I'm moving away from lying. I'm moving away from cheating. I'm moving away from the things that, that God hates and moving toward the things that God loves. I'm moving away from corrupt fruit to bearing good fruit. And I can only bear that because of him. So yes, I got a bad, we as a people, we as a nation, we as a group of people have some history that, that makes us just make you feel bad. But the praise report is the blood of Jesus has forgiven me of my sins of the past. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to break it down into segments, 25, A, B, through whatever it's going to end up to be. But that's what we're going to do. And also, don't forget, Happy Mother's Day. This particular week, this session, is going into the day of Mother's Day. So I wish all of you Happy Mother's Day. And uh, appreciate them for what they have done. But always remember, appreciate God for sending his son. <laughs> Amen. So they could have, yeah, they could have you should be able to see God. What do you, you could our, our Hebrews eleven six. Without faith, it is impossible it is to impossible. please him. But he who comes to God must believe that he is. And he is a reward. And he is a reward of those who diligently oh. seek him. Diligently seek yeah. him. Not people. Not Things. Not recognition, right, exactly. Not exactly. things in this world. Come on. So, Come on. you know, there, there is the disconnect. Yes, sir. Of, of, of our society and, and yeah. our, 
our local churches at this particular time in history. Mm. You know, uh, we, we are not trying to figure out not only who we are, but who God is. Yeah. Yeah. Who Yeshua is. You know, it is it is it is so imperative mm. to, to get that. I mean, if you don't know, there's there's folks that, that you can ask them, how do you know you're saved? Come on. They can't even answer that. No. Matter of fact, they start a question, oh maybe, maybe I'm not saved. You know, because I, I don't know, but I am. Well, if you don't know, how, how could you say you are? And you know the thing, I think the first thing that probably and they, 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 they give people the answer to the fact is, well, I'm saved because of him. Yeah. I, I receive him as my personal Lord and yeah. Savior. Not I, you. I, I, I don't need your my, approval. I don't yeah. need your stamp of approval. I don't need anything. I don't need to convince you that I'm saved. I just need to know that I, if, if anything, I'm just letting you know, here's my testimony. Look what the Lord has done to me. And, and that, that I, my salvation is wrapped up in his approval, not anybody else's approval. I don't need to approve. I don't need your thoughts, your approval, your validation. Your validation is irrelevant and it doesn't have any value to it, but his does. And you that's why, you know, as long as you can start preaching, uh, you want to know if I'm saved. Uh, you, uh, you know, I hope you're not trying to validate me because I'm not concerned about your validation. But I'm going to tell you something. And I guarantee you, walk away. Somebody say, "Yeah, he saved." He saved because he 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 recognized who he needs to get the approval from. And that's people that what we want to tell y'all. It's a, it's a stop from trying to cover up history. You just want to say, "Child, look at you know what? Those, those, that was wrong." But you know what? God, but God. That's not that's not who I am. That exactly. That person, dead, that person is dead. He, there, there's a history that you can you can learn about him <laughs> through this person. Come on now, <laughs> come on. <clears throat> this is the change. See, see, you know, some people, people European uh, and then Black Americans, uh, not Black Americans, but <clears throat> people from the past that were also part of the slave trade, is able to sit there and say what they did was wrong. And their behavior is what I want you to recognize was wrong. But I want you to check my behavior. You see, because I am, I like that one lady, I think about that one lady when they start bringing out a CRT thing and they go on to the school board and, and, and like I said, it was a false narrative, but the bottom line that one girl got up there, she was serious. I'm not a racist, damn it. You should have told that testimony. Those behavior in the past was racist. But the grace of God, I'm not. <laughs> I love, I love you, whether you're black or brown or whether you're white or yellow. I, I love you because of grace. See, I'm not, I, I don't have to tell you about a racist. I'm gonna tell you what he is. He loves me. John 3 16. Oh, glory. I mean, it could, it should, you see what I'm saying? It, you can turn that whole thing into a praise report and say, yes, the history. Terrible, rejected, because that's not what God wants us to be, and that's not what I chose to be. I chose to follow Him. I don't chose to follow my past. My past is the past. My father, my brother, and anybody else, my granddaddy, they chose a different path. Yeah. And that's what you can see. But my children need to understand I chose the right path. That's why I'm calling myself a Christian. Man, we, Think about it. People, oh man, I'm gonna have to use a series on that. Do you see where I'm coming from? You see the word coming out of my mouth. And the fact that we need to take, like you just said, take your past and show that God, God has done for you. Yeah. Woo. So that the, the glory of God is on you. That's why some people who have met, and I think you probably talked about it, we talked about it before. There's some people who knew you in the past and they said, that ain't you. I don't know who I'm talking to now, but that, that, that whoever he was yesterday, that's not the person I see today. You have changed. You, you, you're now a royal priesthood. 
You're now a peculiar people. Yeah. Why? Because you've been called out of darkness into it. Oh, oh, this brother, we need to work that. I think that's the, the angle. Is it being to say, yes, the past to include your own immediate past <coughs> and then our society's past and say, that's why we call ourselves, for some people listening, a Christian nation. It's not because of my past. It's because of my present. It's because of now. That's what you see. It's now. Learn from the past. But understand what he can do to you. For the present. And in the future, right? The eternal life. And you know, I, I put this up here, Brother Ashton. Because I, I think we both got to understand. I think people listening got to understand it, where, where we're coming from with this. Because he even left this, left the Lord's Prayer. And then, then behind, after that, you see the sick man God hate. Look, at, he, he, he left us a manner of talking to him daily. And things that we should do daily. Right? So when you look at that. It's a reminder. So I, call, I think I tell you one time I said I call it a reminder square. Look at look at that and then look at then go to Proverbs 16. So and you can you can interject the thing in between, but I like what if you look at the Lord's Prayer now, it's it, it's a reflective for the remembrance, it's a memorial, it, it is a reminder of what we're supposed to do. David. It's a pattern of oh, oh. A prayer. It, it, it is a template to you to apply mm -hmm. to to your prayer. Yeah. It, 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 and, and it's not the only prayer. No. But no. it is a template <clears throat> that he gave for that particular time. You know, I think it's also a pattern of behavior, a reminder of your behavior too. If you look at it. Go check, check it out in the city. Because then to me, it's like a reminder of your behavior. So you should be doing that. Therefore, pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That's the Thy will be done in earth come on, as in heaven. Yes, sir. Give us this day come our on, daily man. bread. Yes. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Yes, sir. And lead us not into temptation. Come on now. But deliver us from evil. Mm -hmm. For thine is the kingdom. Yes, sir. And the power. Yes. And the glory. Yes. Forever. Amen. Amen. And I like it, Father, like I say, his, his kingdom is his system, not the world system. Yeah. His power is the true power. You ever thought about that? Yeah. <coughs> and his glory is the true glory that we should see daily. And he said to forgive other people daily. He said that said do his will daily. That's what the map, that's what the pattern he's talking about to me is to do his will when daily. What, what's your bread? His word, his spirit, daily is what you. That's how I look at that. You see what I'm saying? Is when you when you break it down. So now let's talk about how does he feel about the history and why it's so important for us to do his will daily. Is because Proverbs six sixteen. What you got there, brother? Says these six things to the Lord. Mm. Yeah, seven are an abomination unto him. Wow. Yes, sir. Abomination. A proud too. look. <laughs> lying tongue. Mm. And hands that shed innocent blood. Come on. And heart that devises wicked imaginations. Wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift in running to mischief. Come on. A false witness that speaketh lies, mm. and he that soweth discord among brethren. 
Yeah, now we're talking about is any of those things a pattern that fits the past and if it fits the presence, you got to change. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there are some scriptures that are helping you change <laughs> all these things in Proverbs. Come on now. And you just need to know that God, these are things, if it, that's what I'm saying is the, to continue to teach children to do these things or to try to cover these things of what people did in the past, because those are, you agree, those, these are things that people have done. In our quote unquote history, right? The, 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 the stuff that's hidden, we try to hide in our history. You can hide it all you want, you can ban it all you want. It's still there. Yeah. And God's the question we want to make sure to teach people is like this you need to know what God is. Because I don't think, if you don't understand what God hates, if you don't understand what pleases God, <laughs> and the only way you can understand what pleases God is to understand what he don't like. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. In other words, if you have these, these things, you know, these people are always talking about homosexual, about the abomination. These things, six of these things plus one, is an abomination to God. And you, all of us got, if you do anything that belongs to you from the past. Oh yeah, I, I see that dude out there. <laughs> you I see mean, him? Well, you the, see the him? one that was there. You, you, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Many have been in these areas. Hopefully, not going to have been in the shed innocent blood and you kill somebody. Hopefully. But if you hate somebody, that's still called a murderer. People. Isn't that true? He who hates the word is a murderer. And no murderer has eternal life or bodies in him. And innocent blood would be is I hate a person because they're, they're black, or I hate a person because they're white, I hate a person because they're Asian, I hate a person because of. You know, those type of things God hates. I also look at shedding and blood as those who actually are false representation of Christ. Mm -hmm. Bad representation yeah. of, of the kingdom of God. That's innocent blood that shed. Mm. Mm. If if you call somebody to leave this Yes. That's the stump of bloodshed. Yeah. If, if, if. Yeah, that's true. You if you talk to teach a people. Someone's yeah. soul that has is, is been interrupted because of things that you've done, things that you've said, and pushed them deep. away from you. Deep. That's deep, bro. And it, it, that's, that's the danger of teaching people. If you're teaching, people to have a proud look. Let's take let's look at it bit by bit. You say you're a white nationalist or black nationalist. Or any if proud look. You you're basically teaching people to be focusing on pride. I'm superior. I'm a in that in that that's that's pride. Eh? I'm superior. I'm a superior. I belong to a superior race. I'm, 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 I'm better than you. You're less than me. Is that pride? Yeah. And but what what determines that? What what is the measuring of that? Yeah. What, Who what, gave you this what, gift? What, what, what is the the census that you use to measure? You're better than. Yeah. And I hate what I can hate is worse than this is what behavior equals your perception or perspective of superiority? 
and, and, and he, I, I think, Colonial Dom kind of said that, and I want to throw some at people. If you have to, see to me, like you're supposed to be, if you are superior, and I, what are you, black and white people? Don't, don't, don't get hung up on that. The point is, you should be the one that sets the better example, opposed to setting the worst example. If you had to, if you superior, you should never have been lynching somebody. You should never have been burning somebody alive. You should never have been cutting people's things off people's bodies. You should never have systemic racism, meaning that you deny people access because they're not as superior. You should be able to be the example of why I'm superior. Like you talk about a big, I guess a good example is like a, of Michael Jordan. Let's use him for example, right? Was Michael Jordan great because uh, he said he's great or because of his performance? It was his fruit. It was his, tell him brother, you, Cause you can use that example for a whole bunch of things, right? It is your fruit that made you uh, superior in a, in a particular area or gifted in a particular area. It's your fruit, not you trying to keep somebody else. <laughs> this, are you trying to walk up from? If I got to keep you down to show and prove that I'm better than you. Then obviously your your fruit does not equate to you being better than me. Because you're too busy worried about trying to keep me down, opposed to allowing your talents and gifts to lift you up. That makes sense? And that's the same thing, you remind me of the, the rabbit and the, the turtle race, right? Well, what well, was not that rabbit superior in speed? Then that turtle, there was, there was no question about it, right? <laughs> he spent his whole time, he lost the race. He spent his whole time trying to keep the turtle from advancing. He, he I like to, uh, if, if you you remember when you're in the military, how many times you, after you passed your test, went back to try to encourage somebody else to, 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 to finish the race and finish on time. You know, that's that's superiority is your ability to try to lift somebody else up when you already up. Not raise somebody. <laughs> was, it, was it better? It, I'll come off this for a second. Does that make sense where I'm coming from? <laughs> it, it, it's, if you spend more time keeping somebody down, to prove that you're better than them. That means you're not better than them. That means you don't believe you are. <laughs> oh, did you? Come on, bro. You just said it, didn't it? Is that a true statement? You're trying to convince you, yourself. You try to convince yourself by trying to, by putting somebody else down. That's what they call, what we call reflecting or deflecting somebody else's by your behavior towards somebody else. And that's where pride comes from. Pride is that you you don't trust Haman. I think that goes with Haman, right? And I think the Bible gets so many different examples, right? But what, what was Haman? You remember Esther? What was the problem with Haman? What, why, why Haman did what he did? Somebody was saying, what Haman, what you talking about? What I really was saying, there's a lot of stories in the Bible that teaches us what not to be. Is it not? Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. They're, <laughs> they're stories Woo. that show you someone's life on both sides. Come on now. Come on. You know, most of the people used as examples missed the mark mm. Mm. at one time mm. or another. Wow. That, that's, the, that's, that's the beauty of this. There's, there was nobody perfect but one. Yeah, yeah. 
And then you have to, did, is it a thing about trying to project or protect the image of pride? The next one, you got this lying tongue. You, you, you have to lie about something else to protect your prideful position. That's what, that's what the big thing they have. And then, and on top of that, now you have to share innocent blood to protect your pride, to protect your status, to protect, that's people, listen to what I said, listen to, I'm just saying, use the scriptures for yourself. Let the scriptures speak for yourself. Let the scriptures speak. Is that, does that make sense, brother? Yeah, Look at this, this is, this, this is, this is so clear. It's and so if it's clear. not clear, you know, ask the, the, the spirit of truth mm. to reveal it to you. Isn't that what Christ said on John 8? He said, you can't understand my words. <laughs> you, can't, <laughs> you can't understand my words. You can't understand my words because you're not of God. <laughs> You you know you what you're doing is bad behavior. I was even reading this morning, brother, about uh, when the first church and this is Paul and Barnabas going to preach the gospel, spread the gospel, and any time there were Jewish people in that area. You know what they would do? They would they would first become jealous of the message. And then they will stir the people up in those areas. Yeah. To hurt the apostles or the disciples. So in this case, Paul. I mean Paul would Paul would have a sneak out of a town with a basket. <laughs> Yeah, Paul, Paul, Paul was in prison and said, look, there's folks out there trying to preach Christ just to get at me. <laughs> he says, but it don't matter because nevertheless, Christ is preached. <laughs> so whether they do it to get to me or not, they're still fulfilling a requirement. Exactly. The word is what's going out. But yeah. like you said, right, they, they devise it, they, 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 I was telling my friend yesterday, uh, let me get off just real quick, I was telling him yesterday, when, when, when we, when, because a lot of cases, people look at the history, church history, ministry history, I don't know, it's not the church, <laughs> the guiltiness of ministries is that they, they believe he was talking about Constantine basically giving us the Bible, or well, even King James. Remember King James? That's it's fine. It's, it's all in vain what you was talking about. Even though the there's people who's trying to manipulate and everything else with the scripture, the scriptures still come out. You know, the, the message still comes out. And, and and most people, when they talk about the Bible and trying to do their best to get it discredited, <laughs> they forget one factor. Because they, everything they point to is to a man, right? But they forget the one factor, God. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.